I've gotten a few questions about how I'm using a PlayStation 4 controller with my PC to play Cuphead and Hollow Knight and all that. Um, I know that's a lot easier to connect Xbox controller with your PC and a lot more games just natively support it, but it is possible to use your PlayStation 4 DualShock 4 controllers. There's a couple ways. One is directly connecting your DualShock 4 to the computer just using a USB cable. And the second way is through Bluetooth. This is how you run your DualShock 4 through Steam wirelessly. If your PC does not have Bluetooth built into it to where it can receive a Bluetooth signal, um, you're going to have to buy a dongle such as this one. It allows the your controller to communicate with it to communicate with the computer so you can run them together. You end up with this little guy right here. Direction. Oh, he's flashing. I didn't even know it did that. Um, you hear the beep. Uh, your system should automatically pick up and identify what you just hooked up with it. But now how do we get that to connect to our DualShock 4? Well, you have to put your DualShock 4 into pairing mode. If um, it's currently connected to your PS4, this will break that connection. But what I'm going to do is hold down the share button and the PS4 button. Hold them down for a few seconds and then you'll see this. That's in pairing mode. Go back to my computer, right click Windows, go to Settings, and then I'm going to go over here to Devices. And I'm going to click, first option here, Bluetooth and other devices. I'm going to click Add Bluetooth or other device. Choose the kind of device you want to add. I'm going to click Bluetooth. Make sure the device is turned on discoverable. It finds my controller. Connect it. Device is ready to go. Done. Another way to have done that would have been to go through your control panel, uh, add a device under hardware and sound, and it would have picked it up right here. Now this is ready to use um, through any of the Steam games. The one thing about it is you need to make sure the controller is turned on before you launch the game. Otherwise, the game acts strange. It might not register all the buttons. It might not register any button presses at all. I would suggest that when you do turn it on, you check that. Uh, and if it isn't working, you shut the game off, turn the game back on, and see if that fixes the problem. By pressing the PlayStation button, it will open up this menu. And then I can go to the Settings tab, and then go down to Controller Settings. And I want to enable PS4 configuration support. And then these are the controllers I have detected. I can go to the preferences. And you can actually change the color of your light bar. I don't, at least I don't know how to do this on the um, PS4, if it is possible. But through Steam, you can select whatever color light bar you want. And here you can see it. You can see now I can change this light bar to whatever color I want. Well, any color that they allow on here at least. Let's go orange. That's orangish. Honestly, I wish I could. Oh, well, never mind. Turn the brightness all the way down so that it's off and not killing my battery because it's not something I care about. And there we go. But yeah, uh, hopefully this works for you. I know it worked for me, so. You can change the shutdown time on the controller too, so. It'll shut off on you in five minutes if you're not using it, which is nice. It seems to save the battery. <laughs> yeah. The other way you can connect your DualShock 4 is just through a USB cable. So you just plug the USB into your computer, you plug the other end of the cable into your the USB port on your DualShock, and you should get a pop-up on your system that says the controller was detected and installed. Uh, if it doesn't work, it's probably an issue with the cable. I've had issues with a lot of USB cables not 
working correctly and not detecting correctly. Troubleshoot it and then realize it was just a faulty cable. I don't think these types of USB, these micro USB cables, they're not meant to be used actively. So like they're not meant to have like the controller plugged in and then you're jostling the controller around. It breaks them easily. And it's definitely not the best way to do it. And eventually what I've noticed too is with the games is the connection will get really intermittent where if it's they're kind of holding the controller at a certain angle or a certain way, it disconnects and reconnects. So while it is a way that works, just know that it isn't really the best. Now to get this working with Cuphead. Because I had some issues getting the two players in Cuphead to actually run. Jesus, loud. So I'll start with this controller. Okay, see I'm running around with Cuphead right now, no problem. But the issue is, oh, you no, know, it worked first try. Okay, just so you know, I don't know how to replicate it, but before I was having the same issue where both controllers are just controlling the same character and I couldn't get the other guy to join. So what I ended up doing was just turning the other controller off then back on um, and uh, it eventually worked. But like holding the, pressing the PlayStation button will bring up like a controller option screen. And yeah, I don't know why this worked the first time when it never does. I wanted to show what it does when it doesn't work. But maybe just having both controllers on. Let me try this. Can turn off the controller through the Steam big picture. So now that one's off and this one's on. Run around, turn this controller on. This might screw it up. Oh, that looks like it's gonna work. No, it's not. So even though this controller's on, so it's the same thing. It's not like me join. I can open up the menus and stuff, but it's not picking the controller up in the game. Restart the game. Let's see if this works. So let me use the D-pad on this controller now. Oh, see now both the controllers are carrying, controlling Cuphead. That's not right either. Let's close it. Maybe just try playing it again. See if it'll work this time. So we're running around, and this one's working. So really, if you try to get in the game and it's not working right, the best thing you can do is make sure both controllers are on, close the game, start it back up. If it's still not working, just close the game and start it back up again, and that might fix the problem. That's been my experience with it doing weird things. Um, the functionality is not perfect. But once the controller gets in the game and is working, um, it it works. Like it's not gonna, it shouldn't fail on you like halfway through the game. Like once you get it going, 
it should stay going no problem. So yeah guys, I hope this video was uh, somewhat helpful for you. Um, I know this will help the PS4 controllers work on Steam. I haven't used my controller for any other uh, games not Steam related. I don't know how that functionality would work. I know there's some third party applications that will help run the DualShock 4 through your PC that makes it more emulate like an Xbox style controller. Um, otherwise, if you have an Xbox One controller or any Xbox, any Xbox 360 controllers, I know those work really well with the PC. Like, there's functionality for them right out the box through Windows. Um, I know a lot of people prefer those, so it might be something to look into. But for people like me who have a PS4 and a PC, which seems to make a lot of sense gaming wise, um, and don't want to shell out another 50 or 60 bucks for an Xbox controller, I I feel this this is a pretty reasonable solution but yeah uh, if you enjoyed the video please like it comment subscribe if you didn't enjoy the video that's cool uh, let me know if there's anything I could have changed I think could have done better I've never actually done a tutorial video before so hopefully it wasn't too awful and hopefully you're able to follow along